All right, so after chopping with this a little bit, we've developed a little bit of a retention issue here with our uh, configuration of tools here, our very usable tools, by the way. So, uh, look, I know there's people out there that are gonna say, well, it's better than having nothing. I disagree with you 100%. This stuff is not better than having nothing in, in many regards. If you're using one of these tools, it's bad enough to be somewhere that you don't want to be in conditions that you don't want to be in and are detrimental to your health. But add to it some tools that you injure yourself with while using them, it's going to compound the trouble that you're in. Please tell your friends, tell your family, tell your dog, stop buying this stuff. Stop giving these companies your money. They don't care about you. They don't have your best interests in mind when they're developing this stuff. It is junk. Junk. I care about you and I don't want you to get into a situation and think that you're prepared with a bunch of junk that's not going to work and could potentially put you in a worse situation. You'd be out here messing around with this stuff and cut your hand open. I mean luckily I have a pretty substantial first aid kit in my truck because I could very easily cut myself very badly with some of this junk. After it breaks sharp edges. I mean, heck, this is sharper than half the knives that they have in this kit. This is my opinion. Do what you want to do. But honestly, I plead with you, don't buy this stuff. Save your money. For 50 bucks, you can get a small assortment of a couple of very nice tools. Raid your bathroom cabinet for a couple of Q-tips. If, if this makes you feel better to carry this stuff for an emergency situation, then you, you can get that stuff at the dollar store, all right? But Put your money on the tools that can potentially save your life. A good knife, a good saw, a water container of some sort that you can purify water in, those sorts of things. Don't spend your money on this junk. These people don't care about you. Who is this company? They've got no stake in the game, no skin in the game. They aren't worried about brand reputation because they flip them. As, and they just, they just want your money. All right, I appreciate you watching me and listening to me rant. Um, I only do that because it frustrates me to see people getting taken advantage of. So, in any case, thanks for sticking around. I appreciate it. I hope this, this video had some value to it and that it helps you make a good informed decision. And no, I'm not going to go out there and camp with this stuff and do the stuff that some of the other guys do because that is actually perpetuating people going out and buying these kits. These kits are junk. They go in the trash. That's where most all of this stuff is going to go. I mean, I think the... Uh, I think the light, light sticks are probably pretty safe. See you in the next one. Oh my goodness, look at this though. It's got a fancy bottle opener. Huh? That's a different type of bottle opener because you, you need, if you don't have at least three or four different ways of opening a bottle, are you even survival in? Food serving gloves, like lunch lady gloves. So I don't think you're gonna, I don't know what you'd use these for. Yikes. All right, it's not supposed to do that. Let's say you're trying to get a nut off of a motorcycle or something or whatever. You gotta be kidding me. Let's see if this one works. Whoops. We used it all up, guys. <laughs> That's it, all gone. I know there's people out there that'll defend this gear. And all I got to say is, good for you. If you like it, good for you. Let's try the saw, just because we're here. Well, you wanna talk about awkward to use. Now, how are you supposed to use this saw without cutting your hand with this razor sharp ax head? That's gonna, any way you touch this, it's just wrong. And you know why it's wrong? Because these people don't use the gear that they make. They just want your money. It doesn't deserve your money. They don't deserve your money. I'd say paper thin, but that's not true. This is just absolutely ridiculously thin. Whoops. Broke it. Great. I'm not gonna survive, I broke my poncho. got some super mega awesome toy tweezers use this open this 
Well, maybe we just need to touch that up a little bit. Just be careful with them because they are, maybe it was just that one. Nope, oh. Oh, it cracked. Wait, yeah, don't put anything heavy on these. I'm sure, I mean, it's only for a survival situation. It's not like it has to be good. So we'll try those tools and then maybe we'll give this a try. Yeah. This stuff's, it's junk. If, if you can fold it over this easy by hand, what do you hope to dig with this? This is the kind of stuff that somebody buys for somebody that they don't like. No, non-locking. Oh, and this, this dull file. Uh, that's another thing I definitely needed a couple more of. Oh, and this uh, serrated knife. Wow, that's pretty sharp. Let's see, we'll cut some cordage. Oh, almost, so close. Well, maybe you could fill one of these gloves up with water and then put that in the carrier. That'd work perfect. It's very dull now, just doing a little bit of whittling. But what concerns me is you see how it's not straight anymore? Okay, the blade's kind of off to one side. That's because the lock is now jammed underneath the bottom of the blade. And you can't unlock the knife to fold it. I'm being very careful here the way I'm applying force, but yeah, there's no way. Look, you want to buy this floppy, cheap garbage? You're doing yourself, you're just throwing your money away. This stuff is garbage. Oh, look, oh man, I'm so glad they did that. Look at that, look at that. A bottle opener. You know how many times I've been out in the middle of the woods, lost, rain coming down, sideways snow, uphill both ways, and my last four bottles of beer, I just couldn't, I couldn't, I starved to death, no calories, because I couldn't open them, but. Hey, not a problem with this, all right? Not a problem with this.